very exciting day because I have one of my favorite YouTube people in the world sitting right next to me in my videos. This is Este, Essie Bucket. Hello. One of my favorite people, as I already mentioned, but we actually met a long time ago, yeah, we didn't did. we? And now we're finally filming together, which is really exciting. So I will leave her channel links below because we did a non-beauty favorites over on her channel, which was really cool because I've never done a non-beauty favorites before. Yeah. And Chip got granny wild. <laughs> Chip got granny wild, exactly. Uh, <laughs> granny wild, and granny I wild. <laughs> And we talked about farts. We did. And other things. Anyways, so I will link that strange video below. But this video is gonna be a drugstore spring beauty picks. And I know it's not really officially spring, but daffodils have sprung in England, yeah. so now I feel like it's okay to film this video. So I'm gonna let Estee start. Okay, so for me it's spring all year round. I like wearing bright spring colour things all the time. <laughs> like exhibit A. Yeah. But I never really used to wear colour. I always used to wear black, but then yeah. I was like, why? Why? Color is yeah. nice. Color is nice. So the first <laughs> thing I'm going to pick... Oh, this is good. This is like, you're going to really know I like these because I've got... Well, I have even more than these, but here are five <laughs> of these. They're the NYX Butter Glosses, and they're... I never used to be a lip gloss kind of gal. I know you wear lip gloss quite uh, yeah, I like lip gloss. Lately, it's my obsession. I love lip glosses because they give you color. They're so easy to wear. They're rarely getting on your teeth. Yeah, they don't fade yeah. awkwardly. Yeah. yeah, like I'm just a total lip gloss kind of gal now. But these lip glosses in particular are really nice because they're really smooth and they're moisturizing and they're not drying. They feel good. They smell amazing. Like just okay, smell that. Sold. Oh my god. Are you a big <laughs> smeller of, of items? Because yeah. I. I I am. Smell yeah. yeah. <gasps> it's nice, isn't it? Really, really good. I know. It's like kind of like that vanilla mm. candy, kind of candy. Yeah. Are these quite sheer? Kind of sheer, kind of not. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and the, all of the colors are amazing, and their their names are really cute, like strawberry parfait, cherry cheesecake. Oh, I love names. Yeah. They're just. I yeah. just really like these. I highly recommend them. And if you're in the UK, you can uh, get them on their website. So. Yeah, and I think at Next Stores as well. Oh really? Yeah. Oh cool. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the lip product now too, and this is the Rimmel Moisture Renew Lipsticks. Have you tried these? I love that formula. They're so good. Yeah. They are so hydrating and pigmented, and they go on in like one swipe. This kind of goes a little it bit does, with a jumper. Yeah. This is the shade In Love With Ginger. And love it's the just name. So, yeah, it's just lovely. It is just makes you smile with prettiness because it's just so, so nice. And the formula is so mega hydrating. They're definitely one of my favorite, favorite lipsticks from the drugstore. And I definitely recommend checking out the shade because it is so nice. Yeah. And just as she was talking, I reached over <laughs> and I grabbed the two that I have. And this is one of my favorite colors ever. It's called Funtime Fuchsia. This is good. This is you will like that. Is this the old packaging? Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. And then oh, this one is fuchsia. called Coral Queen. Mm. Ugh. So, I haven't yeah. seen either of these before. Yeah, they're really nice. So yes, I also agree they're very good. The next product that is kind of spring related, but you can wear all year round, is a blush by Milani. Do you have this? Is this Lum Luminoso? Yeah, Luminoso. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, it's good. I got this the last time I was in America. I am Canadian, for those of you who don't know. Just gotta get that out there, but <laughs> I was in the States recently. And if I can open it, I picked this up and it's amazing. It's Maybe I actually saw you wear it. I love it. It's so, yeah. so nice. And it's like really highlighting as well. Yeah. So it just like adds a really nice glow and oh. And I always think so nice. yeah, the formula is really nice. I always think this color of blush is really oh, it's falling out. It's really <laughs> nice because it's like peachy, it's warming of the face, <laughs> you know. Yeah. But it's not a bronzer. So, yeah, but yeah. peach has that like effect that like gives you a healthy glow without a bronzer. Yeah, exactly. Really like. Next I have this Bourjois nail polish. Oh my gosh. Have you tried these before? Yes. Are they? I had to like go through my like, roll of uh, yeah. yeah. What, <laughs> like go through your thing of nail polish yeah. and you've heard of what you've tried. I have. They're so good. Like, first of all, the brush is incredible because it's like nice and fat, so it just like covers your whole nail. The formula is like mega opaque and it dries in like seconds. And this is the shade number 27, which is just a really nice kind of minty green. I really like the color of this. There's yeah. like this new trend. I don't know if I've made it up or if it's <laughs> an actual trend, but it's called 
muted neons, and I think this falls into that category of muted yeah, neons. That's a cool Because trend. there's like pastels, I love yeah. pastels, but I love neons, but not not so neon. So, yeah, then it's like in your face. Neons, that's I like, like that. my new thing. Okay. Yeah. So that's a muted neon. Okay, can, can I pick a nail polish? Yeah. I'll just quickly say this, because this wasn't part of my original spring picks, and Essie, to me, is kind of drugstore because yeah, you can buy it in boots since you, you can know. get it in the drugstore. Um, but this is what I've got on my nails today. It's Splash of Grenadine by Essie. I love that. Every time I wear this like nail color, people are like, what is on the nails? I remember using this maybe like a year ago, like last summer. Yeah. It just rakes in the compliments. It does. It really does. It's such, such a nice color. And it's just like really springy. It is. I think that's the perfect spring color. <laughs> that's so. like how I'm going to describe everything in this video is springy. It is springy. <laughs> Boing. So for when it comes to spring and the winter skin is looking very dull, <laughs> I always use a primer to kind of perk things up a bit. And the one I'm loving at the moment is L'Oreal Lumi Magique Primer. And you actually picked this out and then yeah. we were like, oh, we've got the same one. So this is just like a really nice kind of pearly white base. I actually apply it as a primer before my makeup or just kind of like do a Lisa Eldridge and like yeah, dab. Just, just, just dab really <laughs> lightly on the top of your cheekbones. But just add like a really nice glow to like dull, tired skin. Yeah. Do you have anything else to add? Uh, pretty much agree with everything <laughs> that she just said. I really like this because it's brightening but it's not like sparkly or yeah, shimmery exactly. but it's uplifting. I think I have once described this as the bra for your face because it just That's brings it back. very good. I like, yeah. I like that. Just like it's just, it, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you're right back where you want to be with that primer. Exactly. I've got these eyeshadow things. They're the L'Oreal Infallible. The what? What are these actually called? The ones. Eyeshadows. They're like pressed pigments kind yeah. of thing. I always bust these out in the spring. I don't know why, but they are springy. This is Amber Rush. This is Amber Rush. So Love you can it. see it's just like a you press it down there. It's like a loose pigment that's packed. Yeah. I don't know. It's a weird little thing. Um, but yeah, it's just a really nice color, especially this amber color because it's just something a little bit different. But it's. I've springy. never found an eyeshadow like no. close to looking like that because it's such a like unique color. It really it's is. Really it's nice. gorgeous. I've also got this shade, which is the same sort of thing, but it's in the shade Hourglass Beige. And I mean, who doesn't love a shimmery beige? Yeah, in a corner highlight. You know, it's just, you can't live without that. So I think these are really great and really springy and really, you know. Nice. Yeah, they just add like a little something to your eyes. Yes. I like the packaging too. Kind of like a little bit of a faff sometimes. Yeah, but... it is a bit of a faff, but it's also yeah. quite cool. Yeah. So in spring, I normally like tone down my base and like opt for something a little bit lighter. So normally I go in with a lighter base and then pack on a bit more concealer like where I need it around my nose and chin yeah. and that kind of thing. So I've really been liking the Bourjois Happy Light Concealer mainly because it comes in this little pot kind of reminds me of like the better version of the Bobbi Brown yeah. creamy corrector thing. Yeah. And it just does the job, it kind of covers, doesn't dry out the skin, doesn't cling to dry patches, lasts the whole day. It's like a really Can good I drug store. I haven't concealer. tried this, or maybe I have. I don't think I have. That's really cool. Amelia was just talking about the lighter coverage foundation sort of thing, and I have to agree, I like a lighter coverage foundation in the spring. And this is the Bourjois CC Cream. It is their 123 Perfect CC Cream, and I've also got the CC Eye Cream to go along with it, which I love. You it's like it so, yeah. so good. I love both of those. Yeah. Like, they're so, so good. I just love Borja. They, they just bring out I some agree. really good stuff. I agree. Except we were talking about the packaging of this. Thing. Yeah. We've got one little, little thing with this. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you want to do the honors? Yeah. <laughs> it just has this, like, really, it's like a plastic tip. Which I love, yeah. actually. But then the like concealer. In theory. Yeah, it's like a good idea. Yeah. But then the concealer, like, dries up around it, and then it just kind of get stuck and like clogged so you end up like twisting this thing around and the like clogged old concealer yes. like gets burst open by like the new concealer yeah. coming through and it's just all a bit gross. It really is but I, like it's I am so nice. someone who keeps their makeup pretty clean. I like to keep my packaging yeah. clean and stuff but every time I go to like reapply this like this is like a dried on concealer skin yeah. and now I'm gonna pump it up. I'll just do it right now. Ugh. <laughs> It breaks it's like through. through. You know what it's, it's like? like? It's like popping zip. Oh that my god, is. that is what it is. That is, that is what, what it is. Slightly satisfying. But also gross. Yeah. But anyway, it's really nice, lightweight. It like corrects the darkness and stuff, but it's yeah, really light. It doesn't yeah. really have any creasing issues. And then the same with the CC cream. It's got apricot green 
and white in there to help with all different things. Balancing. Yeah, and it feels really nice. Hydrating, SPF 15, really good. Easy to use it. Have I said it all? I think you've said it all. <laughs> My last thing is a blush from Revlon. I think these are new. Yeah. But they're like old in the US and new in the UK. That's just how it goes. This is Revlon Powder Blush in Hot Pink. Oh. Oh, oh I remember this. Hot, hot. I, I know oh. this blush well because I can't say that word. Hot. 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 <laughs> okay, anyways, we don't know how to say it, but it's pretty, so that's all that matters. Yeah. It's a, just a really nice, vibrant pink, and it's quite cool toned, which I really like because it just makes your face look whiter but in a nice way it just kind of brings out the whites of your eyes and your teeth and that kind of thing yeah and i really like the formula of these they're just not too powdery and they have the right amount of pigment but you do need to use like a light fluffy brush because yes. if you pack it on then you just look like clowny because they're so yeah. pigmented i completely agree i really like that the, like especially that shade yeah. of pink because it just brightens it it's really yeah. nice yeah perfect spring nice pick <laughs> <laughs> um i have more lip glosses because i am an addict Clearly. Um, these are the Maybelline Color Sensational Shine Glosses. And I just picked three of a variety of colors because they were on sale, three for two. Gotta and oh, uh, gotta love it, gotta love it. And the shades I have, just to name them, I've got the uh, Electric Orange, Glorious Grapefruit, and Pink Shocks. I really like the names of them. And I, I love, love the yeah, shades. I like all the shades, they're so nice. And they have a nice creamy formula as well. And we said that they kind of have a scent of like fruit. Is it's that... not too overwhelming no. scent though. So anyway, it's just a really nice formula, a nice little springy scent to them, nice shade. Not too opaque, but it, you know, it's got the color there. Yeah. Nice packaging too actually, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah. those are our top five spring drugstore beauty picks. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you to Estee for being in my video. I'm gonna leave her channel below because I can I think I've watched like pretty much every one of your videos, yeah. like pretty much, I except I your most recent one which is on my to watch list. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like, I love, I mean if you're watching these you know you already love Amelia's videos, but I just love your videos. Are we just going to have a love fest? We are. We're going to yeah. have a love fest. So I will leave Estee's channel link below and the video we did on her channel, so make sure you subscribe on your over there. I'm actually going to do Estee's little outro right now because I'm just really enjoying this. We'll do I'm it together. Wrap, wrap it up. up. And we will see you soon. Bye.